Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. Today I'm here with the final game or the final series in our round robin round one matchups. And today it's going to be the 1983 California Angels visiting the 1948 Cleveland Indians in a best of three series. And the winner will move on and the loser <coughs> will go to the waste bin of society with the other teams that did not make it to the second round. So this is going to be exciting. Now my original plan had been that I would get the 1945 Indians instead of 48 because they had won the, the second most games of any team not to make the World Series or not to win the World Series. But those plans fell through when I realized that Strat has not made the 1945 season yet. So I didn't do that and I was also going to have the 1970 Angels who only won 70 games um, but I don't have the 1970 season either. I do, however, have the 1983 season for the Angels, and they also only won 70 games in 1983. So that will work just as well. And the 1948 Indians, although they did not win 111 games, like I think it was what the 45 Indians won, they did win 97 games. They were 97 and 58. So they uh, will lead off their, you know, uh, the, the pitchers for the Indians for the first two games are going to be the Bobs. In fact, I'm going to have to ask you to go ahead and come back another time. I got a meeting with the Bobs in a couple of minutes. Uh, I wasn't aware of a meeting with them. Yeah, they Bob Feller and Bob Lemon. And going up in game one for the Angels will be Jeff Zahn. And going up in game two will be Ken Forsh. So it's going to be an uphill battle for the Angels. The Angels have a good offense. They even have a pretty decent defense. But they don't have the pitching that the Indians can, can muster against them. So uh, with that having been said, remember, best of it's all DH. Best of three, and uh, I think with that, we will get underway. Bob Feller finished with his warm-up tosses, and he'll face Juan Benitez. And he gets a 4-10, which is a ground ball to the third baseman, and the third baseman is Ken Keltner, who is a two at third, and that's going to be an out, one away. Benitez retired. Bobby Grinch, the second baseman, has got a 5-6, which is a fly ball to right. He's out. And Rod Carew gets a 6-12, and that's a ground ball, second base C. And the Angels go 1-2-3 <clears throat> in the first game of the, the, uh, of the, of the uh, series, of the first inning of the si first game of the series. And leading off for Cleveland will be Thurman Tucker, the center fielder. Batting against Zahn, he gets a 3-8, which is a ground ball shortstop. One away. Joe Gordon's up. He gets a 5-6, which is a pop-out to first base. Right between two hits, he is out. And Larry Doby's up, and he gets a 2-4, which is a ground ball to second. No runs for Cleveland. We go to the top of the second. And it's a 0-0 game. And here comes Reginald Jackson. And he gets a 1-7, which is a strikeout. You've got to believe you're going to see a lot of those in this series for him. Freddie Lynn, the center fielder, gets a 5-8, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. And that is, um, that is Lou Boudreau, and he's a 1. And that's three, I believe that's an out. And it is. So Freddie Lynn is retired. And that brings up 
Doug DeSensei, and he gets a 5-9, which is a home run 1-11, to 11, and it's out. It's gone. Doug DeSensei hits a home run and puts the Angels on top by the score of 1-0. And Bob uh, Feller giving up the home run there. He allowed 20 home runs that year in 280 innings. And Brian Downing is up, and he gets a 5-6, which is a fly ball to right. But the Angels do strike for a run, and they take a 1-0 lead. The Angels, I think, have the possibility of winning this, this series. Um, but it's going to be tough. Like I said, their, off <clears throat> their offense is fine. Their defense is pretty good. It's just that their pitching is not anywhere near what the Indians have. Ken Keltner is up to lead off the second for the Indians. That's a 6-7, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop is Tim Foley, and he is a three. That's a four and a three at short, and that's going to be an out. One away. So, Keltner is out. Ken Keltner, I believe, was the guy that ended Joe DiMaggio's um, hit streak, if I'm not mistaken. Lou Boudreau is up, and he gets a 6-9, which is a fly ball to the left fielder. So, Boudreau is out. And that brings up Dale Mitchell, and Dale Mitchell gets a 5-12, which is a walk. That's the first Indian to reach base, I believe. It is, indeed. Jeff Zahn, pitching well. Uh, Wally Judnick is next, and he gets a 3-9, which is a fly ball to center field, and he's out. And the Indians are retired. 1-2-3, we go to the top of the third. Bob Boone is up. The Booney, and he gets a fly ball to left. He's out. Tim Foley, who, as you recall, was on the 1979 We Are Family Pirates, who were eliminated from this tournament. So now he has a chance to get, he has a second chance to get a ride into the second round. 5 8, and that's a shortstop. The shortstop is Boudreau, and he is a 1, and that is a 9. A, believe that that's an out. Yes, it is. So Foley's retired. Uh, that brings up Juan Beniquez with one away. That's a 5-7, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. Joe Gordon is a 2, and that's a 1, so that's going to be a hit. That's a hit for Beniquez. That's only the second hit for the Angels, the first being a home run by Doug DeSensei. So with him aboard and um, one out, Bobby Gritch is up, and that's a 5-7. That's going to be a ground ball to second. That's Joe Gordon again. He's a 2. That's a 17. 17-2 17 and two is an out double play. So, Bobby Gritch hits into an inning-ending double play. And the Angels get no runs there. And that brings up Eddie Robinson of the Indians in the bottom of the third against Jeff Zahn, who's been dealing so far. Two nines is a strikeout. Eddie Robinson's out. That's only the first strikeout for Zahn, though. And then Jim Hegan's up. He gets a 5-6, which is a pop-out to first. And Thurman Tucker's up, and he gets a 1-5, which is a double 1-10. to And that's going to be a single. So Thurman Tucker gets only the first hit. First hit right there in the third inning for the Indians. And Joe Gordon's up, and he gets a 2-9, which is a strikeout. 
So Jeff Zahn is really pitching out of his rear here. I mean, in 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 the 1983 season, he allowed 212 hits in 203 innings. So far, he's allowed one to the Indians of 1948. Rod Carew up to lead off the fourth. He gets a 4-9, which is a double one to eight or a single. And that is going to be a single. Rod Carew rips a hit. Third hit allowed by Bob... Uh, Feller and Reggie Jackson up. 310 is a fly ball to center, one away. Freddie Lynn comes up. He gets a 6 7, which is a fly ball to center, two away. And Doug DeSensei is up and he gets a 3 6, which is a fly ball to left. And he is one for two with that out. But the one was with a home run, which still has the Angels leading going to the bottom of the fourth by the score of one nothing. And we will see Larry Doby come up for the Indians against Jeff Zahn. He gets a 6-9. That's a fly ball to left field, one away. Ken Keltner. Ken Keltner gets a 6-9, which is a fly ball to left. We've already established that. And Lou Boudreau gets a 3-10, which is a single one to 19. And that will be a single. So Boudreau is aboard. And that, surprisingly, is only the second hit given up by Jeff Zahn. It's crazy. And Dale Mitchell's up. He gets a 2-4, which is a triple 1-10 to or a double. Here comes the Indians offense. And that is a triple. So Dale Mitchell uh, drives in Lou Boudreau. And they tie the game. It's 1-1 with only one down and a runner 90 feet away. And Judnick up, and Judnick gets a fly ball right field B. That will score Mitchell. And the uh, the Indians are now ahead by the score of 2-1. to one. And Eddie Robinson's up. He gets a 6-5, which is a ground ball second base. So Eddie Robinson is out. That's... I believe that's two away. Or did Judnick get out? No, he did. Yes, he did. So I believe that's three outs. Or is it? God. Um, I'm going to say that's two outs. And then Jim Hegan's up, and he gets a 6-7, which is a ground ball to short. That's Tim Foley. He is a 3. 6-3 and three is an out. So no harm, no foul, even if that was an extra at bat <clears throat> for the Indians. But they get the two runs that give them the lead, 2-1, to one, top of the fifth now. And Brian Downing up for the Angels facing Bob Feller. And that's a 110 pop out to third for Downing. Bob Boone gets a 4-6, which is a strikeout, two away. That's a second strikeout for Feller, and that brings up Tim Foley. And Tim Foley gets a 4-11 ground ball to the pitcher, who is a 2. And that's a 16, and he will be retired. And that's three up and three down for the Angels. We go to the bottom of the fifth with the score two to one Cleveland. And Thurman Tucker coming up. He gets a 311, which is a pop out to second. The leadoff hitter is out, one away. Joe Gordon gets a 5-5, five, five, which is a strikeout. No, wait a minute. No, that's a home run one to two. I'm looking at the wrong pitcher. And that's going to be a double. So Joe, Go Joe Gordon gets a double. Four, 
fifth hit allowed by Zahn. One out, run on at second. That's a 2-6, which is a single one. And it isn't, so it is a line out to second base. Doby is out. And that brings up Ken Keltner. And Ken Keltner gets a 2-7, which is a fly ball to left field. And he is out. And no runs come in for Cleveland. They still hold a 2-1 to lead as we go to the top of the sixth. And Juan Veniquez up for the Angels. He gets a 1-11, which is a pop-out to second. One away. Bobby Gritch, who hit the... He wasn't? No, that was the Sensei. So uh, Bobby Gritch gets a 6-4, which is a fly ball left field. He is out. And that brings up Rod Carew. And Rod Carew gets a 4-8, which is a single. Not surprising to see... Rod Carew get a hit. Hall of Famer Rod Carew. Gets the fourth hit off Feller. And that brings up Reginald Jackson. And he gets a 1-9. And that is a strikeout. As I said, we would be seeing a lot of those today. And that is his second strikeout of the game. We go to the bottom of the sixth. In a 2-1 game, Indians winning the game 2-1 so far. And Lou Boudreau is up. He gets a 4-8, which is a single. That brings up Dale Mitchell. He gets a 3-7, which is a line out to second. One away. One down, one on at first for Wally Judick. He gets a 4-9, which is a single one to three. And that will be a line out to second, so Judnik is out. And that brings up Eddie Robinson. And Eddie Robinson gets a 3-4, which is a ground ball third base A. And he is out, and so are the Indians. We go to the top of the seventh. Freddie Lena. He gets a 5-7, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. And the second baseman's Joe Gordon. He's a 2. That's going to be an error, I believe. 16-2 and two is, yes, a one-base error by Joe Gordon. So, Freddie Lynn is aboard on an error. And let's make sure we give that to Gordon. Doug DeSensei is up. He gets a 2-11, which is a ground ball second base double play. He was in the column. Well, no, he, well, he was in the column to get on base, but he was not in the column to hit a home run. But anyway, that gets two outs for California with Brian Downing up, and he gets a 5-6, which is a fly ball to the right fielder, and Downing is down. We go to the bottom of the seventh in a game, a very tight game, 2-1, to one. As Red Barber would say, this is this game is tighter than a new pair of shoes on a rainy day. Jim Hegan is up. 411 is ground ball to the first baseman. The first baseman for the Angels, first time we've called his number um, defensively, is Rod Carew. He and he's a four. And that's a two base error. Rod Carew makes a two base error. Jim Hegan on second. So, costly air by Carew, and that's what happens when you have to play fours in the field. Thurman Tucker is up. He gets a 4-7, which is a ground ball to second. The second baseman is uh, Bobby Gritch, and he's a two. That's a six, so that is an out. One away. Thurman Tucker out. One down, man at second, Joe Gordon up, 5-7, is a double 1-10. to ten. That's going to knock in another run, and it's a double. So Joe Gordon knocks in the third Indians run with his second double of the day. That brings up Larry Doby. He gets a 4-2, which is a strikeout to away. Only the third strikeout today for Zahn. And Ken Keltner's up, and he gets a 2-6, which is a double 1-2 single 
double asterisk is going to knock in a run, and it does. So Ken Keltner knocks in another run. And now it is four to one. Indians, and Boudreau is up, and he gets a two seven, which is a fly ball left field, and he is out. But the Indians get two more runs, and they take a four to one lead going into the top of the eighth inning. And Bob Boone will lead it off for the uh, Angels. He gets a two eight, which is a single. So Bob Boone working a hit. Only the fifth hit off of Bob Feller, not surprisingly. Tim Foley gets a 4-8, which is a single. So now the Angels are trying to um, patch something together and get themselves back into this game. Juan Beniquez gets a 4-7, which is a walk. They've loaded the bases with no outs uh, off Bob Feller, no less. I mean, that is, uh, I mean, that's what really... Makes this quite a feat. And the uh, Indians will play the infield back. They're ahead by three runs, and they're hook, hoping for the double play. Bobby Gritch is up. He gets a 1-7. They don't get it. It's a single and knocks in one run at least. And let's see. One, two, three. That is Tim Foley. They're not going to send him. So... One run, and Rod Carew is up. He gets a 2-8, which is a fly ball right field B. But that does knock in another run. And so Carew getting an RBI. And now it's 4-3, and the Indians are only back ahead by one again. And Reggie Jackson's up, and he gets a 2-10, which is a ground ball double play. And that's what the Indians wanted, but... The Angels did score two, and they've made the score 4-3. And Jeff Zahn is going to, that's going to be it for Jeff Zahn. He, the book is closed on him. He pitches seven innings, allows eight hits, one walk, and four earned runs. And they will be going to the bullpen, and Luis Sanchez will be coming out to pitch for the Angels. And Dale Mitchell is up for the Indians here in the bottom of the eighth. And that's a 211, which is a single. So Dale Mitchell gets a hit, greets uh, Sanchez with a with a base hit. Wally Judnick's up, he gets a 210, which is a single. So the Indians are just mounting their own little, you know, let's make sure we don't lose this game kind of a, kind of a defense. Two on, no outs. Eddie Robinson up. He gets a 2-5, which is a strikeout. So Sanchez strikes out. A man after allowing the first two to reach. Jim Hegan's up. He gets a 4-12. That is a ground ball C. That'll move runners to second and third. With two down now. And Thurman Tucker up. And he gets a 5-11. Which is a walk. And loads the bases. Sanchez walks the man. And now the bases are loaded with two down. And Joe Gordon up. And he gets a 4-7, which is a strikeout. So despite a threat in that inning, the Indians get nothing. And we go to the top of the ninth, where the Angels are going to need one run off Bob Feller, who is still out there pitching, despite the fact that he's given up three runs. And you know he's good for it. He pitched 280 innings in 1948. Fred Lynn is up. He gets a 5-9. That's a home run 1-11. to And it is. Ties the game. Fred Lynn. Freddie Lynn ties the game up. Unbelievable. The Angels are not going away, folks. They refuse to do that. Doug DeSensei up. That's a 5-5, which is a strikeout. One away. The 
Ryan Downing's up. That's a 3-7, which is a ground ball third base. He's out. Two away. And that brings up Bob Boone, who gets a 2-2 line out to second base. But the Angels score the tying run, and we are in a 4-4 ball game going to the bottom of the ninth. And Larry Doby is up for the Indians against Luis Sanchez. And that's a 2-8, which is a single. So the Indians rally that they were mounting last inning but came up short on, that could come back to haunt them. But we'll see here because they've let off with a hit. And Ken Keltner up, and he gets a 4-5, which is a pop-out first, one away. Lou Boudreaux gets a 5-6, which is a ground ball to the shortstop. That's Foley. He's a 3. That's an 11. 11-3 11 and three is an out double play. So Boudreaux hits into a double play. The Indians get nothing, and we go to the 10th. Top of the 10th, California coming up. And uh, Bob Feller's still out there. And Tim Foley is up. And he gets a 1-5, which is a ground ball third base. Foley is retired, one away. Juan Beniquez gets a 3-6, which is a fly ball. Two out. That's a fly ball uh, to left field. And Bobby Gritch gets a 6-8, which is a line out to second. So the Indians, again, have a chance to win it right here in the bottom of the 10th in a 4-4 game. Dale Mitchell up, 6-7 is a single. So Dale Mitchell with another hit. He's 3-4 for four on the day. And that is another hit allowed by Sanchez. Judnick is up. He gets a 3-7, which is a walk. So Sanchez, again, he's in a little bit of trouble here. Eddie Robinson gets a 6-9, which is a walk. The bases are loaded. The Angels have got to bring the infield in. Um, they will even bring the outfield in, although I don't know how you do that. In the basic game, I don't think there is a way to do it, but in real life, they would be. Jim Hegan's up. He gets a 5-8, which is a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman is... Bobby Gritchen, he's a 2. That's a 10. That's a 10-2 is an out 3, but really it's an out at the plate. One away. So Hegan is out. One down. Tucker is up. Infield still in. 5-6. Ground ball short. That's Foley. He's a 3. That's a 5. 5-3 five and three is an out 1, but it's still an out at the plate. And Tucker is out. And Joe Gordon infield back. And there's a 2-4 and he's out. And unbelievably, the Angels escaped. Losing the game right there. And so now, um, yeah. And so now the California Angels are up in the top of the 11th. Rod Carew, he gets a 4-5. Oh, yeah, they're going to make a pitching change. Feller only goes 10. I mean, he pitched a lot of innings, but we're going to say he can't do that. So, they are going to bring in... Um, they're going to bring in Satchel Page. I mean, why not? Bring in Satchel Page in relief. And uh, that was a 4-5, which is a fly ball left field, one away. So that was Rod Carew getting out. Reggie Jackson's up. He gets a 5-8, which is a ground ball to the second baseman, Joe Gordon. He's a 2. That's a 10. 10-2 ten and two is an out. So Reggie Jackson's out. And that brings up... Fred Lynn. And Fred Lynn gets a 
which is a ground ball to second again, Joe Gordon again, and he's a two, that's a 13, and that is an out. So the Angels fail to score again in the 11th. You got to wonder how long they can keep doing that and still be in this game. Because the last two innings, the Indians had a threat going and couldn't, uh, couldn't make it um, come through. Larry Doby gets a 2-8 to lead off, and he has a single. And with that single, they are going to... The, Indi or the uh, Angels are going to take um, Sanchez out of the game. One, two, three. He pitches three complete and is responsible for the man on first. And they are going to go to um, John Curtis. So John Curtis is coming in. John Curtis in 1983 was one and two with a 380 earned run average in 90 innings pitched. Ken Keltner is up, no outs, man at first, 410. That's a home run one to three or a fly ball. It will be a fly ball to right. So Keltner is out, one away. Lou Boudreau is up. That's a 6-7, which is a single 1-12. to 12. And that's going to be instead a line out to short. And up steps Dale Mitchell, and he gets a 6-7, which is a single 1-12. to 12. And that is also going to be a line out to short. So Mitchell is out. We go to the top of the 12th. The Angels up. Facing Satchel Page for his second inning of work. DeSense gets a 4-10, which is a ground ball to the third baseman. That's Keltner. He's a 1. And that is a 9. So that's going to be a one base error, right? No, that's actually, no. That's an out. Hmm. All right. One away. Doug DeSense is out. Brian Downing's up. That's a 4-5, which is a fly ball left field, two away. And that brings up Bob Boone. He gets a 4-6, which is a fly ball to right field, and he is out. And again, the Angels don't score in the 12th. We're in basic sudden death here if the Indians, or if the Angels continue not to score. Judnick leads off. He gets a 4-7. That's a second base, ground ball, second base, X. That's Gritch, he's a two, that's a 14. 14 and two is an out. So Jude Nick is out. Eddie Robinson comes up, he gets a 6-5, which is a walk. Eddie Robinson aboard with a walk. First man allowed on by Curtis and Jim Hegan's up. And he gets a 110, which is a line out to short. So there's two down with a man at first. And Thurman Tucker up, and he gets a 210, which is a ground ball, first base. And he's out. We go to the top of the 13th with the Indians and the Angels in a tie game at four. And Tim Foley coming up for the Angels. And he gets a 2-9 fly ball center field for Foley. One away. Juan Beniquez gets a 4-7, which is a strikeout. Two away. Page striking out his first man. Hasn't allowed anybody on yet. And Bobby Gritch gets a 1-10, which is a home run. Bobby Gritch puts the Angels ahead with his first homer of the series, Page allowing his first hit and first base runner and first everything, including run. And that is a 4-8, and that will be a fly ball to center for Rod Carew. But the Angels have scored a run in the 13th, so the Indians 
sorely need to get a run here off of John Curtis. Joe Gordon up. He gets a 5-6, which is a pop out to first. One away for the Indians. Two outs left. Larry Doby gets a 6-5, which is a walk. So there is a man aboard. Second walk for Curtis. Hasn't allowed a hit yet, though. Keltner is up. He gets a 4-10, which is a home run 1-3. to three. And that is going to be a miss. That's a fly ball right for Keltner. And I think he got that last time, too. Two outs. Man at first. Boudreaux up. He gets a 1-7, which is a double 1-13. to 13. And that will be a double. And the Indians can try to extend that. Um, no, they're not. They're not going... They're not going to do that with Dale Mitchell, 336 hitter up. They're not going to take the chance. That's the first hit allowed by Curtis. And they have two down runners at second and third. Dale Mitchell up, and he gets a 2-9, which is a fly ball center field, and he ends it in a column where he had a chance to get a hit. But he did not. And so the Angels actually walk away with a Game 1 win, an unlikely Game 1 win against the Bob Feller. Hey, what happened? And so the 83 Angels are up one game to nothing. And that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.